Hi! I forgot to hit record for qualifying. <laughs> this is a hosted race by uh, Gavin2448 uh, on YouTube. He's got a great channel where he also uploads uh, iRacing content as I hit the wall almost. Oh my Jesus. Um, <laughs> um, I'm uh, doing qualifying right now, believe it or not. There's other people on the track. Uh, I meant to start recording before I got out here, but um, <laughs> I got a little confused because it's group qualifying. It was an accidental group qualifying. <laughs> Which is really interesting. I don't think I've ever done group qualifying before. Um, I just got bumped out of first spot. Um, so I guess you want to find, you want to end up on the spot with good draft. Is <laughs> kind of what you gotta hope for, because. I don't know, I mean, you can go and hit a strong lap, but... <laughs> so strange. I don't know, can I come in and get new tires? Like, I have no idea. Uh, it's always good to practice more uh, green for like pit stops anyway, because we might need them this race. I guess I'll come in. <laughs> uh, oh wait, it's over. Okay, I guess I'll start P2, whatever. <laughs> I'm actually tied for a second. We were tied for pole there for a second. But, uh... I don't know where to be on the track. I don't want to cut this guy off, because he's on a hot lap, maybe. I don't know. I have no idea what the etiquette is of... multi-car qualifying. But, uh... Well, it's over anyway. It was basically just more practice. It's I kind of treated it the same way, cause uh, just running around with a bunch of people trying to get fast laps. Just hop on out. <laughs> um. All right. Interesting. So uh, no heat races or anything. We're just going straight in. Hmm. I have no idea how to save tires properly. I will have chat muted. Uh... Uh, right before the green, just so I can do my intro, and then I'll have to turn back on. So, if you're trying to talk to me during that time, I won't be able to answer. Alright. Uh, starting P2. Gonna be taking it easy. We're gonna have to take it really easy. Because 77 laps, and you only get one extra set of tires. So. Uh. <laughs> Should be interesting. If it goes green all the way, you're gonna have to make a green flag pit stop as far as I'm aware. Cause uh, whenever I did a little bit of practice, I found that I only made it to like lap 54 or so before my right front came off. So, I think if we're, shoot. <laughs> I'm thinking like if we're green for about halfway, do I pit because if it goes green to the end, we'll need it, or... I don't know what I'm going to do about it. It's kind of a strange case. If it goes green, we need to pit. If it doesn't, well, you get your tires, but... Huh. We'll see. Pretty nervous, because uh, I'm up here in the front. For two reasons. One, I don't know. I always feel like it's fluky whenever I end up up here. I'm much... I can do fast laps or hot laps halfway decent but I'm not nearly as good with race pace so <laughs> that's always a little scary um, and uh, I'm gonna be trying to save tires but also trying to not get run over which is always a great fun challenge and by that I mean terrifying so got that to worry about too okay we're good we got the crew chief going so I'll have that so I can look at my fuel So that guy taking the access road? Yes. It's a pace car. Okay, there it is. Is there enough fuel to make it? Oh yeah, plenty. Mm, is there though? I think so. <laughs> in my practice, I made it like 74 laps. 
but I also wasn't trying to save fuel, so. It says 93 right now, but when you're on the throttle, it's going to change, so I might be wrong. Sorry. I'm going good. here. Got to watch this car to my left. Ice car is off. Be ready. Is he in a uh, first gear? Maybe I just got that bad of a jump, I don't know. Gotta be careful, because it's gonna be loose. Very loose. As uh, the Arca car often is. in here as well uh, from his Neven channel I'm sure you know everybody here if you're already if you're on my channel most likely but. <sighs> fun uh, group here I'm sure everyone's nice and courteous because that's kind of the uh, driving styles that's, that are promoted on the channels that are here. Sorry, I'm extra nervous. I've got, uh, <laughs> makes it a little harder to speak. Clearly without my voice wavering, because I don't know, I don't know why I'm nervous. If anything, this is a more understanding group than ever. But, <laughs> I don't know, I just want to do well and not make a fool out of myself around uh, people whose opinion matters to me. So we're definitely going to be taking it easy. Because uh, this is looking pretty green. <laughs> I'm going to take this low line. Be very easy on the throttle. So we got room behind us. feeling any issue with the uh, brake bias being set back, so I'm actually going to go ahead and just go 100% with it, all the way back. So I already put it all the way back uh, in the garage, so I might as well do the little extra bit, because I'm not going to loop it or anything on uh, entry. I might want to consider putting it back up a little bit if we have to do green flag pit stops, but I'll probably forget to do that. So, hopefully I'll be able to hold on to it if that's the case. I think what's most important right now is getting the correct line through the corner. Trying not to uh, wear the tires off. Keep the wheel straight. Easy on the uh, throttle and the exits. I'm not good at that part. <laughs> I always feel like, oh yeah, I'm barely touching the throttle and it's like 90% probably where a lot of my issues come from in terms of tire saving to be honest. Got a nice second behind us so I'm definitely gonna back up a little bit if I can. Definitely don't need to worry about being in first or anything right now. Theoretically if I uh, save my tires better then I'll be uh, moving forward anyway. I wonder if that, uh, the cut is working. On the apron, I mean. Oh, that reminds me. Put the session last lap up. A little close to the bottom. I think it was a little quick on turn in there. Using that blue sign as kind of a reference point. So, got that going for us. <laughs> I'm, I'm 
going so soft to try to save tires, it's making me uh, take the line a little bit weird. Okay. It's about 0.8 behind us. I got a full two seconds beyond that, so that's interesting. It makes me worry that I'm really going too hard. Everyone else probably has a better idea, like, obviously you want to just go crazy with saving the tires. Like, don't even push at all. Those guys that even hit the gas pedal a little are just crazy. So, I might look like a big old fool right now, but we'll see. <laughs> Case Ryan is pretty good. He's uh, I've seen him in uh, races before. He's usually pretty fast, so he knows what he's doing. He's probably uh, able to keep his pace up there and still save tires. That's what I wanted. What's it ticking off though? I've already done a uh, 74 lap practice run the other day, as I mentioned before. So I was uh, testing out how the tires would wear, if it would make it on fuel. Because in the video, Gavin first uh, talked about the details of the hosted race. He mentioned that he was not sure if it was going to make it on fuel, it was going to be close. And so I wanted to check. My, uh, Estimator right here saying we are not gonna make it. And uh, I don't think we will. Not if uh, we go green. So, that uh, brings into question when I should be pitting. I think I'm gonna pit at halfway, assuming it's gonna go green. I'm gonna trust this field. I'm gonna trust this field that it's gonna go green, because if we make it that long, I think we can do it. Looks like the leader might be falling off a bit. Or he's realizing how much uh, I need a competition card in there. saving's going to be important. Got to call him for caution. Not sure if that's going to happen. Not sure what it looks like back there though. Like at the in the mid pack or near the tail, it might be real crazy right now. Like four wide, I I wouldn't have any way of knowing. Just being easy on the car. Looking like he's getting tight mid corner, so it's making me uh, hopeful that we're saving tires pretty well. Maybe I don't pit until someone else does. Because I don't think I want to be the first one in. Because that could just put me in a bad spot. Especially if I'm saving my tires better than some other guys, then they're guaranteed to have to come in before me. this guy. Getting his draft. I don't even think I want to pass him though unless he's really falling off. Track position between first and second doesn't mean anything. Tire saving is the name of the game right now. 25 is catching up. Is it because he has safe tires even better than us? Or is it because he is not saving as hard as us? 2.4 gallons. 2.4 gallons, that's how much we would need to save uh, in terms of fuel. That's a decent bit.
Got some uh, lap traffic about seven ahead. I assume that guy must have gotten loose or something. That's why he was calling for the caution. He might have gotten loose out of a corner and lost a bunch of time, unfortunately. The wall, you goofus. I shouldn't even be pushing hard enough to even worry about hitting the wall. So that tells me maybe I need to dial back even more. Get on the gas even later. Feels like I'm babying it. Just trying to hit my marks. I will happily draft behind uh, the 18, though. Maybe even save some fuel. I don't know if that's a thing outside of super speedways. The whole, like, drafting behind someone to save any amount of fuel that's not negligible. 2.3 gallons still. Can I periodically check in on that? I'm not gonna check in on that 25 behind us too to see uh, if he continues catching. I think the idea is to scrub off as much speed before you enter the corner as possible. Try to enter it so you don't have to turn the wheel as much as possible. Yeah, I kind of like that. I think I pushed it out of the corner a little too much. Like, I could, uh... I could step on it and just catch up to him, but that's not going to do me any good. I'm trying to lead lap 77, not lap 25 or whatever. It's still 2.3, so I think it's, uh, I mean, this is kind of like the same pace we've been running, so this is where it's calculating we'll end up. 25 wants to pass me, you can go ahead, because I'm not ready to push it yet. the last thing I want to do is uh, fight side by side so if he does start coming at me then I will uh, not fight it this is uh it's got all the feeling of an endurance race we drew a little bit there Closer to that number 19. I'm sure he really doesn't want to go lap down. Kind of hoping we'll start pulling away again from the 25. I'm hoping that uh, to catch us he uh, used some tires. So it would be very uh, a very welcome sight if he started to fall back. Another indicator that we might be doing something right. Kind of just hanging there at point three, though. Still two point three, so I think it's pretty confirmed here. Uh, if we don't get any cautions, I think we're definitely going to need fuel. Other guys might be uh, out here saving this whole time. I don't know if I can save that much, so. I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing that. Okay. 
not seeing too much movement in terms of uh, who's in the top five there on a relative. Not sure if there's much side-by-side -side action right now. I think everybody kind of understands how to be, uh, how to play the long game. Except for me, maybe. Maybe I'm doing this wrong. <laughs> I might be the only one. So, 19. Right ahead of us. That draft will be nice for a little bit. Pushing a little more than I would like. I keep meaning to, uh, well I did, I want to turn my uh, tire sounds up a little bit so I can hear a little bit better when my tires are straining. I turned it up a little bit, but I don't think it's high enough still for me to notice anything. And I want to be able to hear even the, like, the little tiny bit of sound, so I think next time I get the chance I'll go ahead and increase that even a little more. Five might be falling back again. Maybe it's this draft. It's probably just this draft I'm getting. Ooh, the 19, I think, is overdriving. He's probably do he probably doesn't have uh, as good of tires right now. a bit of time there because I was extra careful. Not too worried about that though. Is 25 going to try to pass or is he going to be content in our uh, draft? Either way it's fine with me as long as he's decisive about it. It may like he's gonna try to go for it. Kinda wish he would hold his line though. That didn't seem necessary. He's driving in so much harder than I am. But uh, I guess his tires are fine, I don't know. Wow, look how much he's pushing. He's about to hit the wall. A little too low. Kind of hit the apron a little bit. I wonder where everyone is. Oh, Gavin's in sixth. Nice. I'm sure he wants to have a good showing at his own uh, event. Be nice to kind of stay with this 25. Um, if we can. Don't want to burn my tires off doing it, but uh, that extra draft would be nice. Oops. <laughs> My uh, brake bias all the way back is helping me with tire wear. Getting uh, as much rotation as I possibly can with that brake that I'm holding. Probably a minuscule difference, but any little edge you can get is nice. The leader just hit the wall. I think the leader just hit the wall, unless that was prediction code. I think he did. He lost some time. Wow. I just uh, was focused for a second. I've been there. Just like I was talking about in my uh, ARCA race at, at uh, California, or Auto Club. Um, 
my first attempt there, I just kind of hit the wall in the straightaway for no reason at all. So, it happens. And he's like falling back now. It's like that cratered his uh, momentum. I think what I'm going to do is. Uh, well. No, I'm going to still do what I said I was going to do. I think. Uh, ooh, over over the exit. Don't do that too much. Lose a lot of effort. Tire saving. Um, I think what I'm going to do is, if anyone around me pits, I'll do it. Because I don't want anyone to get the jump on me if, uh, you know, it's a couple, the guy a uh, couple spots behind me decides to uh, short pit. I don't want them to get too much of an advantage of uh, if it goes green. So, before I was kind of thinking like, oh, if a guy in front of me does it, but I think maybe uh, if I see him coming in behind me too, I'll still try to come in. I'll just have to wait and see what the situation calls for. Definitely feeling tighter, I'll tell you that. Two point one gallons. that's so much to save. So we got some guys pitting, looks like. I assume that's what uh, 95 did, or maybe not. Maybe they got in the wall or damaged their car somehow. So maybe cautions could still be a possibility. That's my only guess, because that guy uh, was on the apron. If he was really uh, on new tires, he would be flying. I don't think that 25 is pushing, but he's not uh, wearing those tires off somehow. Unless he's just uh, maximizing, I don't know. Because it, it, the way it looks like he's driving, like at, in the middle right there, and then he comes up real close to the wall, it's like he's pushing, but maybe not. Gavin in sixth. He's coming. Look out. <laughs> Wonder uh, how well he's been able to save his stuff. Apparently enough to pass someone, I guess, unless someone went to pits. One point nine. So we have saved a little bit. Not enough though. Let's uh get the fuel ready. Whenever we do need to come in, because we're not going to need that much. Sure, 3.4, that would be plenty. I think there's one green-white checkered, if I remember correctly. What is 6 doing? I'm kind of taking a weird line. A little concerning. I think they're trying to get out of the way, but they don't know how. Or not. Are they trying to be in the way? What you doing, man? Man, this 425 is getting held up real bad. It's hitting the wall on the straightaway. What are we doing, friend? Is he shifting? I thought I heard a shift. Hmm. Wind 
to pit? That's the big question of the day, I think. I can start using my tires a little bit now, and then when it starts feeling weird, <laughs> then I, uh, come on in. Yeah, so we'll start using tires right now, I think. See, now we're pushing a little bit. We're catching up to the 25. It's kind of hard uh, once you first start pushing in a situation like this. Hard to know how far you can push because you haven't been trying 100% uh, for so long. It's hard to know where your tires actually are at. Push a little bit, maybe. So I think he's not interested in giving up the spot. It was good to go a little bit. I'm in the wall. I'm gonna make sure I'm uh, following my own line instead of following him into the wall if he's heading that way. It's a easy mistake to make. Another easy mistake mistake to make is uh, a lot of times whenever I save tires, I forget to actually use them at any point, and you save them and then never use them. <laughs> Sometimes in, cer in certain circumstances, you never do want to use them. You just want to try to keep those uh, sustained laps. But I think here, you know, using them up before the uh, inevitable pit stop is a good move. Should have uh, released the wheel or turned, uh, made that smoother is what I'm trying to say. saved compared to the 18. Gonna find out. Now here's what I learned in practice. It's not exactly easy to find out your tires are about to blow. It doesn't really even feel that bad before you get that message that says uh, you need to come in. It's very interesting. So these guys might be caught off guard when it pops up. Because whenever I got it, 
I thought the car was driving fine. Putting in here. Putting in 23. Ooh, got loose. Pit lane speed limit is 45 miles per hour. All right. I don't think we're going to get a caution, so that's why I made that decision. We get a caution. <laughs> oh, the 25 came in. The leader spitting now. And the leader. So we short pit him. Right on. This is very slippery. So while I want to be fast, I gotta be careful here. Okay. Babied it probably, but it's fine. These laps are crucial now that we got these tires again and I think I can go ahead and go hard to the end so that's the good thing about how long I waited and I think I can run some fast laps feeling good don't you guys wreck now <laughs> you hurt my feelings I'll cry every time Are those guys saving? I know there's gotta be some people that are trying to make it to the end. It sounds like something Nick might do. I wonder if he pit. If he thinks he can make it, I wonder if he tried to go for it. I know he likes those uh, strategy races too. Why else would you run the next gen car? <laughs> Wow, we're way ahead. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice. We're way ahead of the uh, 18 now. Man, we did that much better, apparently. Oof. I'm goofing now, though. Because <laughs> I'm trying to look at other things instead of the track. Looking like a fool. So those are the two lead guys. I'm actually in the uh, lucky dog position as of right now. No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't you dare say reckon. I reckon. Do we even know if lucky dogs are on? About to. Lucky dog on yourselves right now. I am the one who lucks. Kmart? That's a fun scheme. It's like uh, Daryl Waltrip. <laughs> it's the Kmart car. Oh, where are you gonna be? 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 Oh. I just figured 
high side would be easier. So, how are these guys in front of us? They, they must have. Uh, are they still out? Is that, or uh, did they short pit even further and gain all this track position? I don't know. It's a car rejoining in front. I mean, in the end, I'm top five now, and we're good to the end. I'm happy with this run. You know, even if we get in some weird wreck or something. I'm happy with how this run went. Outside. Not happy with that though. Clear I got trapped in a weird spot. I think this guy's on fresh tires, so. died. Hey, it's Nick. He must have really short pit. Maybe I should have come in earlier. So, uh, no one saved enough. Do I have enough time to run down the guys that short pit further? I wonder if uh, they must have pit probably around the halfway mark, right? Must have been. Oh, we're gaining fast. Who are the other two guys in front of him, though? Oh, the guy the pit. Okay, right, yeah, the two guys ahead in pit. So Nick would technically be the lead here, right? Maybe the other uh, guy is still trying to make it. <laughs> Wasn't quite sure where he was going to be, so I was just patient. It's cool, we don't need to be in a hurry. I think we're in a good spot. Ah, that looks like first to me! <laughs> Feeling good. Gonna have to check where uh, lowercase Ryan is though. See what he's up to. 3.7 back. He's technically got slightly better tires, but uh, I'm really happy with how the uh, strategy played out here. I knew it was gonna be good to come in first, so I think uh, I came in at just the right time. Oh, I can't believe it, man. I'm so happy. Come on, don't wreck. Oh my god, I forgot that was a possibility. Oh my god, don't have a caution. This ended up being really fun. I love having strategy in races. I love having to think about, uh, you know, when to come in and, you know, do you want to try to save? That's all real fun to me. That's why I keep saying I want to do more open races, but I never do. <laughs> I really ought to actually do that. Hey, is that Gavin in third now? Nice. As long as I don't make any mistakes, I think I got this. Although the, Ryan's kind of coming. <laughs> he's gaining a little bit, but he's going to have to book it, I think, if he's going to catch up. Or my tires are going to have to just fall off real bad.
Yes, I'm so excited. We're maintaining that uh, guy behind us now. Get to the white flag, though. No green, white, checkered, please. Do not crush my dreams. We in there, boys. I'm so excited. That was awesome. Green flag all the way. That's so cool. Yeah, totally unexpected. That was amazing. I loved it. Great race. Thanks, Kevin. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, good race, everyone. Good race, y'all. Look out for the pit speed limit. Yeah, good shit. Very, very fun, guys. Thank you. Incredible. <laughs> Thank you, Gavin. Appreciate that. I was so excited. I forgot to do burnouts. <laughs> well, there's your burnouts. Called my right front tire. <laughs> yes. That's so cool. Whew. All right. I guess we'll check out... Uh, had a ton of fun. Yeah, it was so fun. Everyone was so, uh, everyone raced so well. Yeah, I want to say. Super well. Yeah, everyone did. Everyone was super polite as lap cars and stuff too, and uh, gave room. Let's uh, let's see if uh, if there even were any incidents out there. And that coast across on. Oh, did he try to save? Is that what happened? Oh, did he really go without pitting? That's awesome. He actually made it. If that's true, I didn't know if that was possible. Uh, anyway. For real this time, <laughs> the incidents. You should make some good YouTube. Oh, I think it did. It's pretty awesome. It's absolutely it so much fun. <laughs> uh, I think that's some blinking. Something I didn't do much during the race. My eyes are dry. A little Peppa Pig car. Is that what that is? That's funny. Scratch to the wall. Some more blinks. I think we're gonna get lots of blinks out of uh, 14. Yeah, some scrapes. That's probably all we're gonna see this whole time. We're already on lap 25 right now. Mm -mm. Yeah, scraping. Purple and yellow is an interesting combination. I kind of like it. Complementary colors. Or no, that's purple and green are complementary, right? Is it purple and yellow? No, it's purple and green are complementary. Those uh, colors look great together, though. Kind of like if you uh, if you do it right, I think. 14's going to blink, probably. Yep. I'm just going to have to skip, uh, skip him. It's like an old John Andretti, Christian Fittipaldi. <laughs> kind of car like for uh, Richard Petty over in Motorsports, you know, like Cheerios. That's fun. I always think back to uh, NASCAR Thunder 2004 when I see a scheme like that. Ooh, that looks like blown tires, maybe. Trying to make it all the way. Jeff Gordon tapping the wall. 
Six coming around. I don't know what we we're seeing the 12 for. Maybe their tire's about to blow. I don't know if that causes the incident thing to go off, but. Kmart. Oh, got, a blink, got a blinker right there. Gonna skip that. So we got the Kmart car, and then we got the 66. Also like uh, Daryl Waltrip. <laughs> Just a little, uh, little hit again. Two, three. Skip. So lots of nothing, which is just tells you how well this race was run. Got a '76 oil or whatever it is. I got a uh, nice old uh, NASCAR Legends car. I had that kind of scheme on it. Kind of retro looking thing. 14 still blinking. Alright, one was 29 after 60 laps. <laughs> I'm sure mine wasn't uh, doing too great. Yeah, I knew I wasn't. I was never gonna make it all the way after what I learned uh, in my practice. There's no way that I was gonna make it the whole race. So, Hardies. they got like a Coca-Cola thing on the back too. Uh, ooh, that was interesting. I just went sideways on the uh, entry of the corner. Nothing. So I'll just have to go a little faster. So uh, maybe find a car that's racing side by side. Whoa, no. Oh, no. That's the guy that was right behind us. He messed up his uh, pit entry. Oh, man. I'm glad that would have been me. I guarantee you that would have been me. Oh, man. He was running so well, too. He got the black flag, I bet. And I bet he just uh, threw in the towel. I'm so glad I practiced pit entry. That might have been what saved me, too. I don't know if I entered the pits better than the 18, too, and that's how I overtook them. But uh, because I practiced that, I was able to hit it hit it right. And it's a pretty tough pit road to get on, too. It's like it's such a sharp turn into there, because uh, in real life, I think you're supposed to take that. Uh, oh, no. That's the wrecking in it. That could have been a caution right there. Wow. What did the six do? They uh, maybe were looking left at the guy and then didn't see that they were drifting towards the wall. Man, he was in third too and he got taken out. I remember passing uh, the six and I was a little nervous about him. Yikes, that stinks. At least uh, there wasn't yelling and stuff because it is just for fun, but that's such a bummer for the 72. He was having a great run, it looks like. Blinking. 68. That's Brandon Brown's number and Xfinity in it. He had a super cool Talladega win earlier this year. Love it when uh, small budget teams have success. It's always my favorite thing in racing to root for the underdogs. And that's it, I think. All right. That couldn't have gone better, I don't think. That was awesome. Green flag run. Uh, got the win. Uh, started second. Um, Gavin did well in his, in his race, too. He got third. And he moved up from 17th starting position. So he had a great race, too. That was so fun. That was awesome. I hope we get a, get the chance to do that another time. Um, that's, uh, that gives me hope for other future uh, hosted races with the same, like, similar group. A lot of these same guys. Because... Uh, that was awesome. That was a lot of fun. Everyone was super uh, clean. Good stuff. Um, yeah. All right. I guess that's it. I'll see you next time.